Hi, Victor Tay from the church in Punchbowl. Just wanted to do a quick video just to show you what our gospel track looks like. Uh, you know, why we designed it and laid it out the way we did and the reasoning behind it. Uh, hopefully just to give you a, a bit of, um, you know, some ideas on how you can uh, do your own and, and, and uh, how you can improve your own gospel track if you decide to take some of these ideas on board. Now, we just decided to do it out of just regular plain A4 paper, um, just the coloured uh, types. You know, number one, because I, I can get them really cheap. And we're all about, you know, doing things really cheap in this church. Not because we're just trying to be cheap, but, you know, if we don't have to spend so much money on something, then, uh, you know, that's more money that we can uh, use to help other people and, and fund the work of God and the things that we're doing here. So we try and be as frugal as possible where we can. And gospel tracks, I don't think, need to be super fancy. And, you know, we did have a friend that's a, a printer and was able to do gospel tracks for us really cheap, about four to five cents each if you were to buy 10,000 of them. Uh, but I figured out a way where I could get these printed you know, on my own printer at home for about two cents each, and that's including the paper and the ink. And this gives us then the flexibility to be able to change the tract. You know, when we first started printing this, there were a couple of spelling errors in there and grammatical errors. So you can imagine if we had printed 10, 20, 30,000 of them to get it down to two or three cents, uh, we'd now be stuck with 20,000 tracks that have um, a spelling error in them and a grammatical error. So this gives us the flexibility to be able to edit them as we need to and to make changes and updates if uh, there are any errors or uh, any uh, things we need to change or we want to put different Bible verses in there. Now the first thing you'll notice on the front of the Gospel tract, it's not actually our church name. And if you've seen my Soul Winning Tips sermon, uh, I don't actually start the conversation by, start by inviting somebody to church. Uh, it may not be the same in America. When I was there, you know, there isn't a bad stigma towards church. In Australia, it is totally different. If you start by inviting somebody to church, now they're just thinking you're trying to get them along to some meeting, get them along, suck them into an organization. So we actually start the conversation by telling people that we're handing out a pamphlet that's in, that explains how you can know for sure you're going to heaven. So I thought it would be really cool if just in large, bold letters, uh, we actually just had that question on the front of our gospel tract. Because when you hand this tract to somebody and you start talking to them, uh, inevitably they start reading what's on the front of the tract. And if they see a church name there or information about a church, that's where their mind is. They're thinking about church or you're trying to invite them to a church. Whereas with this question on the front of the tract, uh, it keeps them on that same topic. So when you ask them, are you sure that you're going to heaven? When they look down at the tract, it's the exact same question that you're asking them. And it just helps to keep it on topic. So... You know, there are small things about this track that maybe most people won't really realize and does it actually make a difference practically? Uh, who knows, but this is um, how I think I've got a bit of OCD uh, tendencies and my reasoning behind it. Now, on the back of the track, I didn't put the church details because, again, I didn't want people to think that this track was about church and about trying to invite them along to church. And, you know, generally when you hand somebody a gospel track, what's the first thing they do? They go like this, they turn it around and they have a look at the back. So what, what we did here is we just continued the conversation with our intro about most people thinking they have to be good enough to go to heaven. And then what, that way when you're talking to them and you're asking them these questions, it just keeps, helps you to keep it on topic and the track doesn't end up distracting them from what you're actually trying to talk to them about. Now I won't go into what is actually in our gospel tract. You can find those details on our website, the full text at www.tcip.org.au. And if you go to the tab heaven, and if you look under, you know, what must I do to be saved? And do I, what if I don't believe the Bible is true? You'll see the full text of what we include in the middle here and the article on the back there. So when they open the tract, now they're presented with the two possibilities. Uh, if they accept the Bible as the Word of God, it explains how they can be saved, and that goes in further in depth there. And uh, on here, if they don't believe the Bible is true, it addresses that question and really offers them the alternatives and why they are not as reasonable uh, or require more faith to believe than simply believing that the Bible is the Word of God. We have a lot of Muslims in our area as a high population of Muslims in the Canterbury area. So we are thinking about of, uh, making a gospel tract that has something that addresses errors or uh, problems with Islam. Uh, and that's what we can replace with this page here. 
So they're presented with the two options and if you open it, it's a very comprehensive and in-depth explanation of the gospel. Uh, and that's the reason why I just left a little room at the bottom just to give our church details. If people want the most up-to-date information, they, they can go to our website and find out much more information about us, photos, articles, sermons. So I didn't want to crowd up this space with a map and a photo of myself or an invitational message because I really wanted more, in, more space to have a really comprehensive gospel message in our gospel tract on the odd chance that somebody would read it uh, fully and really study it out and um, either know exactly what we believe or get a really good explanation uh, through an article of what the gospel is and what it means to be saved. <coughs> Now, you know, two reasons why I wanted to, it to be really comprehensive. Number one is for new soul winners, it would help them to present the plan of salvation, learn the plan of salvation. If they haven't memorized all the verses to turn to, they could just simply go through this gospel tract with somebody and explain in depth all the points that we go through, uh, in, including eternal security and even um, praying with them at the end. The other thing as well is I wanted it to be a good follow-up tool in the sense that if we did talk to somebody out soul winning and was able to explain a lot, I wanted the tract to be able to give them enough information whereas if they picked it up and read it again maybe later that night or another day, it would really give a good recap of what we explained to them when we were at the door. And that's why I wanted it to be uh, quite in-depth. Anyways, if you do want to uh, copy our tract, you know, none of our media is copyrighted. I don't believe in intellectual property. I don't think that should be something that is uh, people can stake a claim on. So all our media is non-copyright. Feel free to use it, redistribute it. On our, in, under the tab media, there's a link to our Google Drive. And under uh, tracks, you can actually download the pages document. I use an Apple computer, so I don't have it in Word. But I provided it in a pages document and not in PDF because I actually had to change the alignment of the cells in order to align properly when I printed it double-sided on my printer. So uh, you really do have to tweak around with your own printer and move the cells around to get it printed exactly how you need it so that when it folds, it does actually fold nicely. Um, but that is available to you, so check out our website if you want more information about our church, www.tcip.org.au. Uh, click like if you like the video, or you know, subscribe to our videos if you want to keep up to date with what's happening in our church. Uh, listen to the most up-to-date sermons. If you subscribe to our email list on our website, you'll get a weekly email just with all the latest blog updates if you want to stay up to date with what is happening at the church in Punchbowl. Anyways, God bless you. Thanks for watching.